I think we're just gonna go right into solo queue because it's yellow. I still haven't played the new Nunu. I still haven't even seen him being played, so I'm kind of like praying that I don't have to burst him. <gasps> Dude, I'm actually so tilted. Not only do I have to deal with Ari who counters me, not only do I have to deal with Nazis who literally I can't run away from, but I have to deal with this new fucking Nunu and Willow. But I don't even know what the fuck they do. <laughs> First game of the day too, yup. 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 Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I've been doing great. How have you been? It sounds like stuff's going all right. Where did he just go? He was like half HP. I never thought that we'd win this game if we did. God bless. I'm so happy right now. Ooh. You think my shirt's on backwards? No, I think my cam's just mirrored. Don't get confused by this. This thing is actually hung up backwards on my fucking wall. Yep. 200 IQ, let's go. <laughs> Who do your Tarek bot? No! <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the game has been going on for two minutes and 45 seconds, yet every single person on my team has a death already. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Riot. 2018 season eight matchmaking. Holy fuck. Just leave it to Riot? I mean, I will. Like every single person on our team, I know. Well, at least three of us will be reporting him. I'm assuming there might be one or two other people on the other team that might want to report him. I always give the mindset to the enemy team, like, okay, like, yeah, sure. You're like getting a free win, ha ha ha. Like, I don't have to report shit, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, these people are in your ELO and they could very, very easily show up in your game too. And you don't want to deal with that shit. Did I get to plat yet? Blorp, I don't even want to fucking talk about it, man. Uh. I can't go for any of them! I'm dead. I can't, cause I don't have all, and they can dodge stuff easily, you know. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm just gonna admit that I was wrong there, cause I'm pretty sure it was. That was painful, but you'll bounce back. Yeah, it was painful for me, really painful. Like that one hit me right in the fucking heart. Both Ari and Lux. If you have two people that you're trying to kill, both of them, a lot of the time you field goal. <laughs> Which is kind of what I did a couple times there, but I don't know. At least I admitted to fucking up. And you know what's crazy? This Ramus like blamed me, but he like stopped blaming. Like I expected him to be one of those people. JK. And now I'll meet him. He's not gonna come for me. right there made up for it hands down got us two fucking kills so if he's still salty after that but he's got his own fucking internal issues ever a dull moment watching me i know i fuck up a lot you literally pushed him out of it bro What kind of dog would I get? So I know I 100% want a golden retriever, but only when I have a backyard to kind of like bring it out. 
and let it go run around in. It's just gonna be a, probably a small, medium-sized dog. The cats are gonna be so mad, yup. Yeah. No husky. Huskies are so much work. Huskies are beautiful dogs, but unfortunately they require so much attention and like they need a lot of, they have so much energy, so anyway. You win some, you lose some. Sucks losing twice in a row though. Rage, what the fuck pick of blood is that? You're hot, I'm ugly, wanna make some average looking babies? <laughs> Why is the internet like this? <laughs> Jesus. That's funny. Oh fuck. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Please make my eyebrows dance to the beat, sir. All right. Every time I join your stream, you're always fighting against Super Minions in your own base. Yeah, biggest feels yeah. fucking bad man ever. Oh my god, that was the most uh, most I got. Jin, you got you! Watching a character hit minions over and over and occasionally hitting a minion, is that entertainment okay? Like, I'm, I'm just gonna put this out there. You're not on the street talking to people in public. You're on a fucking website where there's like millions of fucking people currently doing that exact same thing and entertained by it. Your logic is the most flawed shit ever and you sound like an old man on his porch being like, I don't want kids to be on my lawn. Why are you on Twitch, dude? Like, I'm so confused. He literally sounds like one of those fucking people on the news that are like, how are video games entertaining to watch? Like... <laughs> this is a rough game, guys. I did not think we were gonna win this game. JK, I spoke too soon. Holy fuck, I thought I jinxed it. Oh my god, I would have been so sad. GG. Both the teams are like, please have this game. I insist. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. I have so many dumb, dumb things from playing Syndra and playing. I think it was Syndra. I said, when all my balls are all over the place. <laughs> when you ulti and then you use the stun. And I was like, yeah, it's fucking hilarious because all your balls are just all over the place and then you can just, you know, push them towards everyone. <laughs> I remember I was playing against an Aurelian soul and he was chilling in the bush so you could like still see his balls going around. And I was like, I can still see your balls. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second, that sounds so fucking bad. <sighs> Any advice for someone that's trying to start streaming? It's really, really tough right now. Try and not get too um, deterred by low viewer numbers and stuff. Just try and interact with every single person that you see coming to your chat. If people are being twats, ban them. Be yourself, be happy, be interactive, be energetic. Do it because you fucking love it and for no other reason, you're good. You feel like to get famous these days, you need to collab. Exposure is great, don't get me wrong. Like it helps more now than it did before, no doubt in my mind. But the thing that you have to understand is it matters who you are. Like for instance, if I gave exposure to like my fucking friend that's negative, pessimistic, hates his fucking life, isn't entertaining, and is just like a kind of nice dude, he would not be very successful regardless of how much exposure he got. Because you gotta have some type of personality. It's not just like, oh yeah, anyone can just pick up, here's exposure, boom, that person becomes massive. Like that, nah.